everybody, George Donnelly here. So this is another uh, BCH Future vlog. I know I haven't uh, done one in a while. Been working hard. Um, got a lot of traction in Venezuela and that's been taking up uh, quite a bit of my time. Um, so I want to talk about uh, B Bitcoin Cash as a nation. Yeah. Uh, let, let's explore this paradigm, this concept. Yeah. So I'm not talking about um, a nation state, a country, you know, with a flag, uh, even though BCH does have a flag logo, right? But, um, you know, I'm not talking about something that has the, a monopoly on the uh, use of uh, aggressive violence in a given geographic area, right? I'm talking about a cultural group of people, right, who help each other. Um, who are working together towards a common goal, who have, who share uh, a, a cultural story that includes principles, um, practices, uh, language, concepts, right? A nation. So, um, you know, I think that uh, it's pretty clear that going into the future, uh, existing nation states which are mostly characterized by empires, right? Empires like, if you look at, look closely, the EU, India, China, the United States, um, these are really empires. Uh, these are, you know, classical empires, although, you know, with a modern touch. Uh, but I think those are going away. Things are becoming more localized, more decentralized. Um, you know, uh, local self-determination, communities, the long tail of communities is really going to be very long, you know. Um, and Bitcoin Cash has a role to play in it. You know, you can say, well, Bitcoin Cash is just a ledger and this and that. But, um, you know, where if that's all it is, right, if it's just a spreadsheet, you know, <laughs> I mean, that's not very exciting, right? We need humans uh, interacting with this ledger, caring about this ledger, onboarding new people to this ledger, uh, telling stories and poems and making movies and documentaries and art about this ledger. That's what we need. So, uh, you know, and human beings are, we are inherently tribal, um, you know, we care about, uh, store, we, we, human beings run on story. So, uh, to ha and you know, Bitcoin Cash already has a really outstanding, uh, community, perhaps one of the strongest, most committed, most dedicated, most ardent and passionate and, um, longstanding communities in the crypto world. Right. So, you know, and we need that community to grow. Right. So we really need to tell a story of how this this nation, this budding nation, virtual nation, um, how does it serve its members? Right. What value does it offer? What is what does it stand for? What does it mean? What is the why of Bitcoin Cash? And you know, the why of Bitcoin Cash cannot be limited to just visit whybitcoincash.com and see why it's better than BTC coin. You know, the why of Bitcoin Cash cannot just be BTC coin is screwed, you know, screwed us over or was captured or whatever. You know, a negative message will get you, you know, reasonably far in politics, but this is not politics, you know. We need to have a positive message. We need to think about, you know, like if you look at Estonia's e-citizenship and Liberland, you know, even though Liberland is pretty much a fictional country, um, like they have, um, you know, principles, processes, you know, they're, they're, they have an onboarding process, right? You can apply to become a citizen, right? So we're not, we're not going to do anything like that in Bitcoin Cash, of course. You know, we're not going to have a constitution like Liber Liberland, uh, which was kind of a facepalm moment for me, uh, frankly. But, um, you know, no offense to the Liberlanders. Um, but, uh, you know, 
what what's our value proposition? You know, we, we want new citizens, right? New community members, right? So what's our value proposition? What do we offer them? Um, you know, what what's, you know, and we should be able to say that in ideally one word or a few words, right? And that's why, for example, I use the tagline, build your prosperity with Bitcoin Cash, right? Because I think that's really the what our our value offer is right now it's not you know when you're talking about prosperity right that easily associates with you know wealth getting rich right so you know and the number go up cult it's all about like buy and hold and then you'll get rich right no work involved hmm. but that's why the word build is so important build your prosperity right um so build means you got to put some work in which means beggars not not really welcome yeah beggars don't really add value okay um your so it's focused on you right which is the most interesting word in the dictionary you you are interesting prosperity right so we're not just talking about getting rich we're not just talking about wealth it's uh it's about being prosperous right and being prosperous also implies putting some work in right it's not passive Be being rich holding wealth these are passive these are things that you have they are states but prosperity is something you have to build so I think that we need to, to think about, you know, our outreach, who are we bringing in, what is our value, and, and also what is our pipeline for turning it, you know, somebody who's like, like, yeah, that Bitcoin Cash, that's interesting, right? So how, do, you know, how do I get involved? Okay, we'll get, I'll get on noise.cash, right? But then what? What's our program for turning these new people into, into Bitcoin Cash experts who can then repeat the process, right? So, I mean, we at Pam Money have uh, a few different ways of doing that, but, you know, I think the community would be well served to think about that, you know, and think about Bitcoin Cash as a nation. Does this concept, does this paradigm work for you? Does it, does it vibe? Or what is Bitcoin Cash, you know? Um, so yeah, so that's it. Bitcoin Cash as a nation. And um, let's keep building Bitcoin Cash.